Well, um, I never know where song ideas are going to come from, and this one came from the New York Post. There was an article about a pet store in Greenwich Village called Le Petit Puppy. They sell puppies and they sell kittens. And you can only imagine what went on in this pet store that the owner felt compelled to put up an eight-word sign in his store, and I knew I would use it as the title of a song. This is what the sign said. If you're drunk, you cannot buy a puppy. <laughs> I know, why would that be necessary in the 21st century? And where do you go from there? So I know, if you're tipsy, you should not purchase a pussycat. If you're stoned, you might think a spider monkey's a good pet. But when you sober up, you won't be thinking that. Think of this as a public service announcement. If you're in your cups, stumbling along, despite the obvious thrills, if you're monster to the gills, buying a puppy now is just plain wrong. And it got me thinking, there must be other things you shouldn't do while you're drinking. <laughs> if you're drunk, you should not get married. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're straight or you're gay. Las Vegas wedding chapels have ruined many happy couples. I'm sure many more that are ruined there today. If you're schnockered, it's not the time to photograph. Then twitter yourself in cotton underwear. When you near pastor to the gills, despite the obvious thrills, don't even do it on a dare. Oh, the list of things you should not do while drinking is a never, ever, ever ending one. There are things you can do when you've had more than a few and you want to pursue a little fun. If you're drunk, it's a good time to spend money. Yes, the home shopping channel is the best. That's where I got this up. <laughs> They've got blowout deals on elastic waistband pants with matching turtleneck and scarf and head and vest. Order one in every color of the rainbow. Fuchsia, puce, celadon, and winter white. When you plaster to the gills, there's no describing the thrills of saving so much money in one night. And if you're drunk, is a good time for the tattoo parlor. <laughs> Get a bloody painting scratched into your back. How about the name of your new lover? A single rose with the word mother. Or the queen of hearts smothering check. Or better yet, how about a tattoo of a puppy? <laughs> On your tummies you can pet it every day. When you're plastered to the gills, there's no describing the thrills of owning a puppy that will never run away. But chew your new shoe, a puppy that will always, always stay. If you're drunk, you cannot buy a simple phrase be your guide. Do you remember The Sopranos? The TV show The Sopranos? Christopher sat on Adriana's puppy. The puppy's name was Cosa. Oh, Cosa died. Christopher was high when this transpired. Adriana fell into a free-falling funk. Little did she know she'd soon get whacked. That's why Karen 